ripped her lips off with a pair of tongs, you fucking coward. <laughs> fucking coward. Oh. Uh, hey, question, are we, are we live, man? <laughs> yeah. Um, a lo- lovely to meet you, man. We met, <laughs> question came over a couple of hours ago. Um, we got question filling in for uh, Matt Brown. Um, and we will, uh, you know, we'll have a quick chat to Question, get his side of the story, and uh, yeah, just see how you go today, eh, mate? <laughs> Who knows? You might, if you do well enough, you might be even be able to take that fucking Matt Cunt's place. <laughs> Your brothers. Do you guys even go live? What do you mean, mate? Well, you actually on. live? Yeah, live right now. Yeah, I'm not it's, sure what live means, but it's I'm just a word we are. use. It's just a I'm word we that use. We are live. Yeah, whatever. Um, fuck me. What we do last week we, on Sunday, we caught up with Jaden, Prasad, and Osti. Went to fucking Shami's place and played Toka and beat them. We by won. The way. They are fucking ex soccer players. Yeah, they are like very good soccer players. And it, we had a discussion amongst our Toka player selves. We're like, oh, do you reckon if a really good soccer player played, do you reckon they beat us? And everyone's like, oh, yeah, no, they definitely beat us. They definitely beat us. No. Michael and I won seven five seven five. It was close, but there is more to talk than just fucking ball skills. Okay, you've got to know core position. You got to have tactics, Poor, yeah. serving, placement, heaps of shit. Yeah, and we yeah. won. We fucking won. We did. They were so cut. We even had a hundred dollar bet or two hundred dollar bet on the second set, and we won. And we won. So we are officially the best talker players probably in the world. Which means that you can't just pick up a ball and be the best at talker. That's what that means. Yeah. Remember. You need a bit of practice. You need to know the game. They uh, didn't know where to stand. They didn't know what was going on. Like they were fully like, like where are we? Like, let us go. We had had a couple of marijuana cookies. Yeah, but that made us play better. That was probably our advantage as well. They need to get used to fucking playing when stone. You, yeah, because that's you, an essential part of talker, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, and from a works point of view, we jackass, they want us to do a bit of promo for the release. So we get to do another fucking video and we sent through our ideas yesterday. So I'll keep you guys posted on what they say. And um, what else was fucking going on? Cut that, Connor. Cut that. Cut and that cut on. me saying about golf as well. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just, it, was, it, was, it was shit. It didn't flow. I hate it. Cut that golf chat as well. But Thank leave God. that explanation in because that was pretty smooth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right, you can you know, yeah, right, leave that in. Um, in uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so that's our lives. Um, I've also uh, gone, I'm trying to undergo a bit of a lifestyle change. Keep you guys fuck posted on how it's going. But basically, I'm sick of falling asleep at like 3 or 4 a.m. And it's, I've been like this for my entire life. So on fucking yesterday, I started trying to, my number one priority is falling asleep before midnight and I'm in fucking lying in bed by 9.30 PM now. Something I've never done ever. What time do you go to? No. (laughs) 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 Michael's gone and spilt. All of the oregano out of his vape, all of the uh, <laughs> smelling herbs. Uh, I was going to ask. What were we going to ask? Question. Fucking question. When- what time do you go to bed? Question. I don't go to bed. He said. Fair enough. <laughs> you hear that sound out of his throat? That was his answer then. I thought that was me. Oh, maybe it was you. Was that you or me? Question. I never had a bed. All right. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, so what I do is I take all my uh, night supplementation and shit and just go to bed at 9.30 and phones down in airplane mode from 10 p.m. And it worked last night. I was in bed just before midnight. What time did you fall asleep? I, I, I started trying at like 11, like hard trying, and probably took me like 40 minutes. That's so good for you. Hell That's yeah, unheard baby. of. Hell yeah, baby. Were you actually tired when you tried to go to sleep? Oh, not really. I'm never tired at night, am I? <laughs> but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Fucking one day down, eight hours sleep, and fuck me, it makes a big difference. So much more alert. Yeah. Like, look at my eyes. Was Jim right easier this morning? I was just in a better mood. Yeah. Wasn't so like crippled with anxiety and, and 
irritable because I've only slept three or four hours. Yeah, fuck. My brain was all fucking slow. Just picture like a baby drowning in a pool. Mm. That feeling. Okay. Of seeing that. Yeah. Right, here we go. Mon's calling. All right, prank call time, everyone. I can't explain too much. It's prank call time. <clears throat> hey, babe. You all good? No. Um, did you get the email from the real estate? No. Oh, fuck, babe. Not good. They fucking, yeah, they, they, apparently, um, you know how that, that door was broken or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, they showed it to the owners and they said, um, they're giving us, um, a month to, uh, to leave. So that we've been, what? This yeah, is the door. yeah, we've been evicted. That and they, and because they also, a couple of other things in the email as well, I guess, from past stuff, like Bosley, I guess. Oh, really? Are you joking me? Can no. Stay any worse? I know, babe. So, like, I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to fucking... Maybe tonight even we'll just, like, start looking for houses and we'll, like, just tee up a fuckload of... Um, that's so in- shit, though, because that's going to be bad on our rental history. Yeah, I know. Well, we only really need to get into one more place and then we're sweet. But, yeah, and apparently all our bond is gone as well. Like, they, they said... Yeah, they said they've marked down enough damage that the bond is already all gone and then they're going to send us an invoice for the rest of the repairs, which they said could cost up to $2,000. There's no way. Yeah, well, I'll forward you the email, but like, yeah, I just replied being like, like, fuck you guys. Like, I just... Oh, you did? Yeah, I was like, this is so fucking unfair. I fully like just lost it at him. But it's email. like, but also it's like they only listed two things. Yeah, well, they, they got a whole bunch of shit that, that they said. But, yeah, basically, I, I think that they just, as well, they just want us, they just want... Gone. Yeah. Well, I've got our um, rental thing from when we moved in as well, so... Yeah, so, but, yeah, we've got to fucking pay an extra two grand on top of the fucking bond, and the bond is completely gone. How much was the bond? Like, two and a half? There's, yeah, it was heaps. Yeah, I'm thinking about, I'll just, I'll, and I said in the email, I was like, like, we're going to take you to small claims court. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. And did they even give us the list of things? Yeah, yeah, there's like an attached list, but it's like it's just the smaller shit. There's there's definitely not four and a half thousand dollars worth of damage. And I said to her, I was like I even said, Fuck you bitch You're like in, in the first sentence of the email. Like I just fucking babe. lost it. So okay, fucking bad. Well, I guess that's um they didn't send it to me. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. I guess I'll just forward it to you. There's there's been a few emails that they've sent to me, I haven't sent to you though. Remember? So f- that is so weird, babe. Fuck, I don't know what to do. It's stressful. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just, I'm just like gonna keep emailing her, abusing her, and just telling her to get fucked because that's so fucking unfair. And I'm gonna tell her that I'm just gonna out her on social media, and then I've got her personal details. And I reckon, like, even tonight or tomorrow night, we should just rock up at her house and just start intimidating her because I'm fucking sick of this shit. No, hundred percent. It's the old hat, isn't it? Yeah, that old bitch. That's because I fucking... don't, I don't deal with her. I deal with the admin, and they're always so nice. Yeah, it's so weird. It's so out of the fucking blue. But yeah, I reckon we just like, I'm tempted. If they've got a family pet, like I'm going to scatter some rat poison on the front lawn and shit. Like I just, I'm so... <laughs> yeah, right, we're getting extreme. <laughs> yeah, I lied to you, babe. Oh, for fuck's sake. You are so <laughs> I, knew, I had a feeling that this was a prank moment. <laughs> oh, my God, so dumb. Mom was so chill with that. You intimidated her. <laughs> we're going to go there and intimidate her. You yeah, took that. doing this. <laughs> I'm a terrible day as well. I can't but, believe you would do that to me. You took it very well, babe, but now you must feel a lot better, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, true. It goes from like feeling really shit to really good. Yeah, it's a relief. It's sort of like a therapy. It is. You're a therapist in a way. Question? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, sorry. We had to quickly do the prank call then because... Um, yeah, I didn't know when she was going to call back. So, I just was like, we just fucking went for it and fucking boom. Now we fucking go, boys. Should we have that at the end? No, nah, I reckon we just leave it in. Okay. Just leave it slow it in. There you go. Fucking cheeky little prank call. Cut me saying that, please. Come no, on. leave it in, mate. Leave it all in, mate. It's all I'm bloody make great. It flow. It's all bloody great. I'll give you a run through what we got today, all right? We got the fucking shit talk. Questions here. I'm going to ask <laughs> fucking questions some questions. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, she hung up. Mon just messaged, kidding on the hang up. Had to make you sweat for a moment. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see fucking quest. <laughs> you got a what? <laughs> He's 
so yeah, you gotta, fucking... Well, question... Why are you laughing at me? There was no way I was ever going to fuck it, dude. In question... <laughs> oh God, well, this is a guess. Okay, well, look. We'll get question on. Maybe you can understand. Well, question's not from here. Just remember that. Sorry, question. Question's not from here and, and where he's from. Where are you from again? Just... Pottsville. Pottsville, right. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Never heard of it. So, yeah, you know, people oh. might wear this sort of stuff in Pottsville. It's in New South Wales. New South Wales. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is the run through of the podcast. We're going to have question. Uh, we've got diary entries and we've got questions plus good comments. And then we got uh, the German segment, maybe, if there's time. And then a PO unboxing and the prank call. We've just done it. We just fucking prank called my fucking miso and it was legendary cunt. <laughs> we got her. <laughs> she thought for a good fucking two minutes, right, that we only had a month left in that fucking joint cunt. Dude, that would suck. Yeah, that would be very strange. She handled that very well. I know. She was so chill about it, especially with what you were going to do. <laughs> I'm going to go to her house and intimidate her. Yeah, just ignores all <laughs> She's that. like, oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> like, goes, like, next fucking conversation topic that's about it. That's just how I talk all the fucking time with the fucking poor thing, can't She's just so, like, uh, useless information. <laughs> Question. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay, so. Oh, um, shout out to fucking Gorinda. Gorinda. Gorinda who? I don't know last names. Dude. Look, okay, Michael's having trouble pronouncing Grinder's last name. Grinder Sandhu. He's a guy we filmed the cricket episode with, which which sport is the scariest? He's a professional cricket player and also a fucking legend. And he's dropped off some of his merch here today. Humble. And Michael is repping it on the podcast. <laughs> and uh, Michael, pronounce his last name. Sandhu. Sandu, yeah, there you go. I just forget last names. Look, it's it's I, I it, when you look at it, it's it's like oh, that's... like you can tell me a name a hundred times and like literally I'll forget it three seconds. I doubt later. that, man. You know when you meet people at bars and yeah, oh fuck, Western. Is <laughs> Looking up. at Western is it's very is off-putting. Fucking hard work, but when you meet people at bars. And they tell you their name. Do you are you good at remembering it or not? It depends. If you meet a lot, like when we were coaching, I would go, I would get very good at remembering names because you just get used to reminding yourself. Oh, remember dude. the name. Parents remember of the, the kids name. you coach. You have to try and remember. Yeah, and like, kids. I've been off. coaching for fucking sometimes like like months and months. I wouldn't know their names, and I just have, have give them a nickname, and it would be so fucking awkward because there'd be months where I wouldn't know a fucking kid's name. Dude, I've been there. I remember that. Yeah. And like, it's so awkward, especially if they're older and they know you don't know their name. Yeah. That, that, or when that, they're re- always so good at hiding it. And I had ways to make the other kids say the oh, kid's name. Oh yeah. To trigger it. Yeah. Man. Dude, hey. Awkward times have been where kids have just straight out said, you don't know my name. <laughs> like That sucks. Because then all the other kids look at you and the parents from the sideline. Why side would they say that? You. That's so embarrassing for them. It means they're so meaningless and insignificant they're, that they're they aren't so, memorable. They're so young that they don't fucking register that yet. It's my the older parents ones didn't know my good. name. Is that a right question? No. And at bars, dude, I suck at it. Like you, someone whispers or yells their fucking name in your ear, in and out, it's gone. Yeah. And that's it. Well, like, how do we come? What? How do we get it to the name? Because I couldn't remember Gorinda's, Gorinda's name. last name. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah, it's just a, a, a practice thing. You know, you practice pe- learning people's names, but you get better. It's gotten worse. Like, yeah, well, I, MDMA I, I'm, I'm so is shit at melted it. away yeah, a lot too of much our brain. MD. <laughs> and our memory I don't know gone. if I'll ever do MD like hard. It's a once, once a year. The, th- the more I think about it, like I still cringe and get gaggy at some of the states we got ourselves into sometimes. <laughs> Honestly, would it just stripped away part of our personality and melt- <laughs> melted the actual brain cells themselves? Dude, 100%. <laughs> Man, I used to be so much quicker and like fucking like <laughs> wittier and happier <laughs> all the way through my 20s and then come late 20s after these after abusing after the abuse got pretty binges. bad then now it's just like man I'll fucking be halfway through a sentence and stop talking and I'll be like what the fuck was that at the beginning of that sentence cunt <laughs> and have a laugh about it but I'm like nearly panicking when it happens because it happens like what are we talking about? 
<laughs> Very good. <laughs> comment, comment, man. Comment if you can. Comment if you can. <laughs> comment if you can, everyone. <laughs> No, but seriously, um, this podcast will quickly get through our sponsors and then we will get to you, Question. Oh, fuck. Um, but our sponsors, look, seriously, we just really want a big b- big round of applause for our uh, sponsors, uh, Manscaped. <laughs> big round, biggest we've had. <laughs> big, long round of applause <laughs> for Manscaped because they sponsor us if you need any male grooming products they've got the, a Father's Day deal that they wanted me to mention they've got a Father's Day sale so head to manscaped.com and use our discount code fully actual 20 get 20% off across the board plus the sale discounts from the Father's Day sale go and shop your tits off you got fathers buy your dad a fucking shaver it's perfect grip for your father question you buy your father a shaver you can buy them ball skin you can buy them a hat all sorts of shit manscaped.com fully actual 20s a discount code oh. and of course the other sponsors of the show the university of markle is our subscription website right where we put our weekly vlogs we put all sorts of shit behind the scenes of our videos extended uncensored of the videos all on there it's like a half hour episode, sometimes 40 minutes long every week every week we do that and that comes out on the website and you that means you would have just watched me cheat in the video that we filmed today and michael's not aware that i cheated in this video yet and i thought you know what i'll reveal me that i cheated oh! during, during the podcast but do you know, when we played um, the blindfolded oh. fencing with car antennas, I could actually see his feet at the bottom of my uh, blindfold. Oh, so you didn't take it fully off? No, no. No, of course not. Julian wasn't even aware that I was cheating. I had to tell him after. Oh, okay. I thought you guys were ganging up and like he was fully taken. No, no, That's Julian how you didn't nailed even know. me in the back. Julian didn't even know. But I could see your feet. So it's a big help. Yeah, I guess... To be honest, maybe in the the blindfolded boxing whipping competition. That was all legit. And that's why I was... I was looking up a bit so I could see you. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, then. It I'll all take evens it back. out. I take it back. I didn't cheat. All right. Well, I don't know. I might have made that up to compensate for your cheating. So, oh, I don't know. Well, thank you. We'll put it there and we'll say, don't, we'll, don't, we won't do that anymore, all right? <laughs> but yeah, there's a, the car antenna fencing. He's cu- he, was ble- he was so cut up after round one, cunt. I fucking sliced that dog to pieces. <laughs> He's covered in blood, his whole arm. So uh, uh, it's, you can join up free trial 21 days to see if you like the content. So you can watch that video if you like. And good luck out there, too, everyone. Uh, don't make sure you. Show. Yeah, don't worry about don't worry showing about it, mate. It. It'll bloody get deleted, Gurinda Sandu. <laughs> oh, questions open. Um, oh, should we man. do the diametries first and then get to question? Mm. Is that you grunting in agreeance or... Mm. Oh, fuck, he's so sick, dude. It is like a question is hard to look at you. The fucking... I like the new feature you've added. Ah, uh, Yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> anyway, diary entries. Diary entry number 135 from Michael Corey Brook House. Today I was able to store one kilogram of salt under my foreskin. <laughs> the salt soaks up my leeks and then I can use the salt to season my shit. My foreskin salt shits are a rare treat of mine and I want everyone to just be. Be more be. That's what I want written on my gravestone. Consider this diary entry legally binding, and no matter what happens, I want to make certain that B more B ends up on my gravestone, even if I deny this in person from this point forwards. Okay. B more B. Do you remember writing that? Dude, I love that. I actually do want that on my fucking gravestone. B more B. Here lies Michael Brookhouse. B more B. And one of the B's is spelled with a double E. I don't know if that's a typo. <laughs> yeah. Because you've got to be B like double B. E, more B. Yeah, because all the B's are So you're are telling dying. the B's to be more B. <laughs> yeah, B, but more not, B. Yeah. You're telling the B's to be more B-E. To, you're telling the B's to be. Yeah. 
Because they are the most important thing. They're the most important aspect that we've got on this world. And no one knows the struggles that they've gone through with the depression and the constant barrage of attacks. (laughs) (laughs) Diary entry number 104 from Marty. Today I twisted my testicles when they got caught in a fan. I never wear underwear because mum always says, you don't need a pair of small pants under the big pants. It's a waste of money. And my pants today had a hole in them. My testicles are blue now and I've tried to untwist them but I can't figure it out. I hope it gets better overnight. It was a pretty good day. That's That sucks. I remember that. That sucks. <laughs> Questions just revealed his teeth. <laughs> oh, it's not something that you would expect <laughs> to see. Oh, oh, oh. Pretty bad gingivitis there. Oh. Anyway, I'll read on. Diary entry number 69 from Julian James Tennyson Woods. 460 till I die. Yee! Today I cut some slits into my eyebrows because that means that I'm not scared to fight. I cut eight slits either side, so there's more slit than hair now. But I had to cut so many because, um, what's it called? Uh, I'm heaps aggressive. So, yeah, if you see me in the street, give me a head nod so I know you ain't trying to start shit because, like, I might stab you if you don't, cunt. <laughs> oh, and I fucked a chick. Yee! Stab, 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 stab. Point stab. Lift it up, stab it. Spin off. <laughs> <laughs> we went question i don't know if you've met julian but we went to julian's local the gap oh, skate park to today. film that car antenna fencing video uh, and my gosh he had some he has stories. a story for every nook and corner <laughs> of the park he's been <laughs> sucked off there he's <laughs> fingered fucking he's some nicky bitch there he's growled that one out he's over in the <laughs> corner he's punched some fucking kid over in that corner he's got his fucking arm snapped on the fucking back left fence as soon as we get there there's one dude with a kid it's obviously his kid and he's like see that guy i bashed him like three years ago <laughs> like here Anyway, yeah, it's just ridiculous how it's yeah how disgusting. It, it is. was very. He turns into another human being when he's in his <laughs> postcode. When, when he's in the gap, it was fucking very entertaining though. It was yeah, yeah. Sorry, diary entry number one thousand and seventy-two from me. Matthew Look. Gregory Brown. <clears throat> <clears throat> It was a lazy Sunday afternoon, and I was drying out a stillborn baby I'd found in the biohazard waste bin outside the hospital. (laughs) Stillborns are a very rare find, but my favourite finds are breasts and limbs that have been surgically removed. I've spent the last five years building my wife. She's made entirely of breasts and amputated limbs. Her name is Requifton, and she's one amputated arm away from completion. She won't leave me. I am her creator, and therefore she must remain loyal. She's not a slut like every other girl in the world. She'll let me just watch. Just as I was fantasizing about fucking my many-breasted future wife, I saw something peculiar out of the corner of my eye. It couldn't be. It was Requifton. She was stumbling around the lounge room one, with her one arm outstretched, feeling her way around. I ran inside and went to her. She looked perfect. Her torso and head were made entirely of different sizes and colors, breasts. I started walking towards her when from behind her, my father appeared. Dad, what are you doing here? I said. My dad looked a bit flushed in the face and his skin was clammy. He nodded at Requifton and smiled. I had a turn of your thing, he said casually. (laughs) I couldn't believe what I was hearing. What? She's not even finished, Dad. She's my creation, not yours. Rage filled every cell in my body and I felt my ankle bones fuse together with my feet, ready to fight. I glanced over at Requifton and saw she had a thick load of dad's essence slopped across a few of her back tits. Gills appeared on my neck and I turned to my father. My father was looking quite nervous and started backing away. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know you weren't sharing it. My gills pulsed and I attacked. My open mouth wrapped around my father's nipples and I began tonguing. My father tried desperately to push me off but my hands had a firm grip around his back and I was raking him in tighter towards me. My stinking hot little brown stretched out of my pants and buried itself into my father. My father was screaming and struggling, but my little brown coursed with rage lust. Sticky brown tar flowed from me and I was finished. I released my father and he was now crying. Don't ever touch her again, (laughs) can't! 
I said. Dad couldn't respond through his weeping and nodded. I grabbed Requifton and pushed her back downstairs into my cold room. If that slut ever gets fucked again, I'm going to burn her. Brown is king around here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, as you know, a story from your, uh, your brother. Huh. Huh. Requifton. Re- <laughs> <laughs> What a fucking name, dude. Eric Quifton. Eric Quifton. I haven't heard that before. I wonder where that's from. <laughs> oh, very good. They're very, very good, dude. Um, oh. All right. So, uh, speaking of your brother, Question. So, that's the reason why we've got you on. Um, now, Matt gave us the okay to cu- for you to come. And you're okay. How do you feel being here now? Yeah, good. All right, so um, luckily, uh, Queston also knows how to set up podcasts and stuff, so we just thought we'd have him here. Um, uh, do you want to come on um, and we'll ask you a few questions on camera? And then if you don't feel comfortable or whatever, I can, we can interview you from, from there or just... But I think it's important that people can see you. <laughs> hey. Hey, come on. Queston's our guest, okay? Why are you laugh? Well, I, I, I he's, was he's, fucking thinking about Requifton, dude. This is fucking Requifton. Yeah. So um, we're going to get Question on now. Um, so please be respectful, everyone. Everyone in the comments, um, please be respectful of Question. Okay. Um, I don't want to hear any sort of honor or be reading any hilarious insults about his appearance. I don't want to be reading any of that. Um, I just want to be reading really nice um, comments about Question. We are a loving podcast. Um, we put out a lot of love here. So let's not uh, stoop to that level, okay? All right, question. Come on over, mate. Let's give him a round of applause, everybody. I need a minute. All right, question needs a minute, okay? He's um, he's quite nervous. I've seen him shaking. Um, and yeah, it's, it's he, he's disgusting. He's fucking revolting to look at. You'll see. You can't hear me right now, but yeah, he's like one of the most hideous things I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> also, um, don't forget, guys, if you can't help us by by buying Manscaped shit, by subscribing to the website, it's fine. All we ask, nay, all we beg of you is that you like the video as like you usually do, all right? And leave a comment just as quick as you can. Just done. Quickly now. Just pause the video. Go. Go now. Go. Quickly. Just write the comment and then and then keep watching. And then you feel good about yourself <laughs> because the podcast's growing. So please just, if you can, just like it and comment and subscribe as well. We're, we're down on our knees. Nah. All right. Don't worry about it. There was a real funny comment. That someone did yeah i can't again. wait to go Made through them again laugh. yeah that was some good shit man this this com- funny <coughs> funny good comment section coming up it's gonna be a banger all right question <coughs> oh. christ are you ready yeah <coughs> Fuck. um so we'll just let Question sit there for a second. You guys just take that in. <laughs> Notice um, how intense his receding hairline is, and he still manages to maintain a full head of hair. Why are you wearing masks? Because uh, we've already been vaccinated. You got the jab? No. Nah. Get the jab or I'll jab you. Well, it's starting quite hostile already. Michael? How's Matt? I haven't seen him for quite a while, man. All right, well, let's just start from the beginning, uh, Question. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what the f- what the fuck are you doing that? Well, I work for the council. Okay. Not Brisbane City Council, Boona City Council. Okay, so not too far. Um, yeah, so what do you do? What do you do for work? Uh, I collect raindrops. You um, you said you collect raindrops. Yeah, I collect raindrops for the city council. Right. So what they pay you for the water you catch? Oh yeah, they pay by the bucket. 
So you just go, go around when it's raining. Yeah. All right. Um, well, What's let- the first time you fucked Matt? Well, he started it. Oh, fuck. So he came on to you. Yeah, so explain to us what, what exactly, how was it, what happened in your childhood that now that there's this rift between you? Before I was, you know, of a sexual age, he'd, he'd teach me things that I shouldn't be taught. Okay, so how old were you when um, Matt Brown was showing you how to uh, masturbate? I was about seven. And how old was Matt? Also seven. No. He's older. He's older. All right, he's older. Um, so you guys are twins, but he's uh, from what Matt has said, you, he's like four years older than you? I got stuck in there a bit longer. Oh, About wow. two years. And Matt said you were half hanging out of your mum for the last few months? Yeah. I'd love to see a photo of that. It'd be incredible to see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it would be nice. If we can find a photo of that, we'll put it on our OnlyFans. Oh, update on the OnlyFans just quickly. Um, <laughs> uh, we it's it's we've done what they've asked. We send in the IDs and the selfies with the IDs and shit, and it's they're just not approving it. They just keep saying mm, the photo needs to be better quality. We've tried like five times, so now we've emailed their support. So we're still trying to figure it out. And don't worry, it will happen. By the end of this season, you mark my words, we will have a fully actual OnlyFans, all right? Why you guys got so many lights? It's for the professionalisms. Yeah, it just sort of lights things up and makes things look good. Why don't you have any aircon? Um, I'll let Michael answer that one. I don't have it. Um, anyway, so, so Matt was uh, teaching you sexual things... Oh, uh, before you were sexually mature. And so then, because of that, what, you developed an unhealthy obsession with uh, violently fucking him? He'd walk in and say, after showing me what how to use my stuff, mm. he'd, go, he'd pin me down and stuff. And, and, was, and then he'd run out after doing things to me and he'd go, you can't get me. And so ever since then, I've been trying to get him. Trying to get him right. Um, and... Uh, yeah, well. Wow. Did um, you ever have you've never gotten him? Close. That's why he's not here. We've rolled around a few times. Just haven't got the pen. I'll get him though. The good old pen. Um, else have you did you ever think to maybe go to the police or something? No. It's between us. Sorry, question. Can you say, excuse me for one sec? Sorry, just excuse me. I need to. No, just just go the mic. No music. Sorry about that uh, question. Just um, had, to, had to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so Matt, you became obsessed with Matt and then, um, and so now what, you, what What happened that you guys didn't see each other for so long? Ooh. Oh, oh God. Question's just spat on the table and he's playing with it. What was your question? Some sort of Michael-esque traits. It's the house, man. Do you find Michael attractive, question? If you could um, maybe move your obsession onto someone else? No, it's just, it's only Matt Brown. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Did you ever think to maybe go to the police? Um, No, it's between us. It's a family issue. That's so true. I admire that question. It's domestic. And he always got the <laughs> word. <laughs> it's domestic. <laughs> Very good, you say. <laughs> <laughs> smoky it's smoky in here why do you guys laugh about my family oh we don't mean to it's just um <laughs> it's like a 
It's a fucking... We, we, there's not many things that we don't laugh at. <laughs> yeah. It's oh. like a deficiency. Slapping his spit. Yeah, it's all sticky. In the finger. I'm used to chunks. That's like slong. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I think that's... I think, yeah. That covers most of it, everyone. So this is question. He's explained why he has got a thing with his brother. And I get it. Like, he, after hearing your side of the story, like, honestly, I don't know about Matt. Maybe question. Maybe like, question. I, I get that Matt has changed a lot, but, like, you can't do that. So, I don't know. We'll leave it to you guys. Um, do you want to see more of Queston or um, should we just leave it with with, uh, with Matt? Maybe, yeah, just Queston Comment. can come in maybe once every few weeks. Yeah, if you want. Scratching his head. I'm I'm pretty ready for him to be over there. What happened to your eye? <laughs> Why is he laughing? It's I, such I, a rude question. To ask. It's the elephant in the room, man, and it's in his eye. I had a I had a work accident. <laughs> Too much. Was it hailing when you were looking for rain? No, I was looking up in the sky, and I like skies. And then a raindrop got me. A raindrop, fucking right in the eye. Big old fucking raindrop. Was it over Fukushima or something? Was it during some sort of uh, radioactive storm? Some sort of uh, no, military no. air raid, perhaps? No, it was a booner. <laughs> oh, booner. Oh, I yeah. am okay. All right. Well, um, look, I'm a little uncomfortable question, but um, thank you for answering our questions. Very strange energy from him. You know, yeah. it's like a. It's like I go from high to low. Very unpredictable and just fucking disgusting. Yeah, it's sticky. I'm glad I don't sit there. See you, see you, Queston. Let's go back over there, Queston. Uh, you just spat on that head, man. I'm not going to. See ya. Uh, and now moving on to the uh, questions, plus reading some fucking good comments, plus asking you guys... Should we have another go at another hunt? We're sort of getting the vibe that everyone's like, eh, the hunt's a bit shit. <coughs> and, and no one really gives a shit. Um, so if you want the hunt to continue, comment the word hunt and we'll start that segment back up again and we'll target a brand new ce- <coughs> celebrity. All right, but <coughs> if we don't see any hunt comments, we're just going to let it go for a little while, okay? Till we think of something great. <laughs> Maybe even Conor McGregor might reply to one of my comments one day. The ultimate hunt. Wouldn't that be a schneider? (laughs) 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 Uh, One very nice comment that I read from Big Mal's World reads, I'd rather shit in my hand and clap than hear another story about Matt's volleyball injury. (laughs) Well, that's exactly... You can't complain about your hand when you play volleyball. Yeah, don't you think, Question? Fuck that guy. Yeah. Like, bitching about a hand. Like, come on. Where is he? I don't know. Sorry. Um, but yeah, great comment. That that gave me quite a laugh. <laughs> oh, question. I was high when I read this last night and it made me laugh for a very long, long, long time. From Elliot Wilkinson. Ah, Marty and Michael. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that is genius. Well, it makes you think and it's also an interesting question. Ah, Marty and Michael. Well, are we? Ah, Marty and Michael. It's very good. Man, you got me stumped with that. (laughs) Very, very good. I don't know what to do now. Da Flo, am I the only one who closes my eyes and enjoys Matt's diary entries like that? I do recommend having a little joint and then closing your eyes for the diary entries. That's the way to watch them, I think. Question, you're you're a fucking on the ball, cunt. Do you listen to this podcast, Question? Sometimes. Yeah. Cool, man. Uh, guys, we just realized it's a bit fucking difficult to uh, do questions <coughs> and read out awesome comments all at once. So we're going to split them up, all right? And we're going to sit down and we're going to go through all the best comments and we'll make a little list. So we'll get to the questions and then we'll do the best comments, okay? But we will read your comments. Remember, if you want your question asked, <laughs> just comment it on the YouTube channel and if it gets the most likes, it goes to the top and they're the ones we ask the most, all right? <laughs> So just if it doesn't get read out, ask again next week and have a scroll through the comments, see which one questions you like. We'll read them out, right? <laughs> ah, 
fuck me. I just, I just feel like pressing play on a pre-recorded thing that just says that every week. <laughs> fuck, I'm over saying it. It was very cute just, the way you said it though. Just fucking like shit and comment, man. <laughs> just that fucking sign you can't say it. Hey, fucking like shit and comment and shit, cunt. <laughs> wait, someone, wait, someone send us a fucking sign, right? <laughs> to save us about fucking half an hour every fucking podcast, send us a fucking sign saying, don't forget to fucking like and comment, cunt. <laughs> It's time to fucking beg you every week. <laughs> the best training, man. I bet you someone's gonna fucking make a sign. Man, if someone makes a sign now, I'll fucking I'll I'll show you guys my center. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Questions, <laughs> question. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck. Okay. I hit go. you very hard with car antennas today. Yeah, I'm scarred. I got, literally didn't get touched. I got, I got too scared and just went defense mode. Okay. Here anyway, you go. Questions, question. Fuck me. Uh, first quote, uh, your top question. Please. Is from Ryan. I can't pronounce his last name. Does Matt's, Matt struggle Matt, with the name? Matt is so fucking bad at pronouncing names. It's Ryan fucking Fernandez. embarrassing. Fernandez. Man, I hate it when he fucks that up. It's embarrassing. Question for Marty. So, I can't say that last name. Good. <laughs> Why was your last name kept secret for so long? Made me think it was Smith. Are there any Polish ties to the name? I don't know. I don't know if it was kept secret for so long. I just um, didn't say it because um, it's just such a strange sound. And um, I also was just trying to protect my um, other family as well. Like that, that I don't. People don't need to fucking. Like I'm a, I'm an embarrassment to my family, so I don't want I don't want anyone anything going back to them being like, look at this is this is you cunt that's your fucking DNA right there, <laughs> fucking screaming at about fucking Germany cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that's you cunt saying that and that, but um. Yeah, I'm not too fussed on names. It's like a name is just the sound people make to get your attention. <laughs> it doesn't have some legacy with me. I'd prefer to just have a normal, just weird piss take name. You don't want that in question? No, I want to cut that one. <laughs> cut that one, Connor. Um, lots of Polish, uh, lots of Germans around there, okay? Well, that's where Marty <laughs> came, out of, came out of an egg. <laughs> Big egg in a nest in our kindergarten. And I punched my way through when I was 16. <laughs> you were 16 years old inside the egg. Incubation period of 16 years in Germany. <laughs> Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> you sick fuck. Shell. <laughs> All right. Next question, next, please. Question. Next question is from Danny Cummings. Oh. <laughs> Michael, would you ever go on blind date for video? If so, what would oh, the date be? A great idea. <laughs> would you ever go on a blind date if I set it up for you? <laughs> I guess so. It'd be like a good content, right? Would you actually really? Yeah, but like as long as they know that I, I just know thought that. of a fucking outstanding idea. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna find you a wife. No, I don't want a fucking Shh. wife. Okay, I'm gonna find you something to fuck. <laughs> 
How's that? Finding Michael a thing to fuck. No, okay. How about just like a golf partner? <laughs> what do you want me to fucking get some fucking 80 year old? Yeah, you do want an 80 year old. <sighs> fuck, there is a lot of older people that play golf. But yeah, I'm just going to write this. What's the, wait, what are you going to do anyway? My idea is to line up five different girls. Michael of no knowledge about that. <laughs> And then we do a speed dating. Speed date. He's got one minute to talk to each girl. Oh, dude, that's going to be so awkward. Oh, you wait till you see what I'm doing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Squirties. Squirties and throwing fucking, fucking tomatoes at their backs as hard as I can. can. Oh, I would love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a great idea. All right, I'll do it. Uh, Julian, um, yeah, I'll probably need your help on this. You know how to round up people better than I do, especially off Instagram. I don't know any like little, little fucking fifteen-year-olds that he likes. Instas, Insta babes, Insta girls. That's the one. All right, question. What do you got? Shoot me. Next have question is from, from JC Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> Jada's message. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's right. We said sorry. And anyway, go on with the question. If you could give one piece of advice to your respective 20-year-old self, what would it be? Stop smoking. Do it. I would say fucking do it. Because I waited. We waited till we were fucking like... Till I was 25 to start making videos. But all my life I've known that, that, that would, I would love to do something like that. I was just too bitch to take the first step. I need a fucking... This kind of fucking... And then the step is a bit easier to take. But yeah, just fucking do it. Because, yeah, because, have a go. Because even if you fucking fail, at least then you know that you gave it your all, cunt. You tried. Don't they say that that's the number one regret when people are on their deathbed? They're like, I wish I did, did like, something. Try, at least tried what I wanted to do first. Exactly right. So you may as well fail. And it is want to fulfilling as hell. Shh. Doing what you want to do. Question. Question. You got to have goals. Fucking man. fuck the city council off, cunt. That's a dead end, right? You come work full time on the podcast. You're doing very well today. I haven't heard one little sign. Matt would be like talking up. about his sore hand and fucking about pronouncing all the fucking yeah. names wrong. Like he fucking doesn't know how to say Daniel. Volleyball. Or or Daniel. He says it. Or Daniel. Shit like that. Yeah. It's so weird. It's like... It's cock. <laughs> it's thick, spicy cock. <laughs> it's cold, hard cock. Wrapped in a burrito. Oh, oh, oh. Cold, hard cock. Wrapped in a fucking burrito and the center's still frozen. Send it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yuck. A cold dick on a burrito. A frozen in the center still. Oh. The flesh. <laughs> yeah, so always be, be true to yourself and never, ever instill anything upon others up until you have done that up unto yourself. Shh. Always be. Shh. Basically. Questions, requests. Next question is from Pacific Northwest Native. Would you guys ever consider in the future, like several years into your lives, to do a show or a movie similar to Jackass or Eric Andre? 110% my claim. Obvious, yes. Yeah, well, the thing that we need to do is free up more time. That's what we need to do. So we're hiring another um, uh, filmer, a part-timer. We're also going to be searching for a new character in our videos. So if you want what all of... You can have all of this. You can have this table. You can have the table. You can... Ha you. You, you can come it. over. You, well, you can film with us. Question could move in. I don't know how, but we're going to open applications soon. Okay, so people, we'll, we'll be hunting for another character to be a part of our videos. We'll pay you and grow your socials if that's what you want. But we're looking for a filmer as well, part timer. Then once we bank some shit up, then question. Then we can start doing things like high production shit. Because at the moment we got to fucking think of videos that only take like three days to organize tops. Two. So we don't have time to plan all the fucking awesome shit. <laughs> Fuck. But anyway, that's that's an internal issue and we're working on it. But yes, one day 
in seven years, 110% we'll be doing shit like that. Hit it, question. <laughs> Next question is from Jasper Ryan. Question for question. question. Oh, it's for you, question. When parting Matt's little cheeks, do you ask for permission or is there an unspoken rule? <laughs> he had an unspoken rule with me. I've never caught him. All right. Okay. Revenge. Revenge fuck is what is wanted. But I will. Next question is from Ringworm D. Yes, Ringworm. Good name. M Marty, who is a better kisser, Michael or Mon? Yeah, definitely Mon. My, it was it was always very um, violent. So much tongue. Yeah, mm. nearly nearly only tongue. It was it was more of a show to shock people. Is what <laughs> it was. I wouldn't really call that a kiss. Like lip suckers are sometimes more romantic oh. than tongues. Yeah, it's, you know, and sometimes more shocking. I remember one time we fucking we tried to scare Lockie. Is Lockie we're on the boys' trip and Lockie walked out and we were all fucking on countless drugs. <laughs> And <laughs> Logie just walks out to me and Marty fully looking up. In the hallway, like we made it seem like he had stumbled across us, even though we knew he was going to be walking down there. And they were, oh, oh shit, Logie, don't, don't fucking tell anyone. <laughs> He's just in silence. It's like, did that just fucking happen? Like, what the fuck did I just see? <laughs> Very okay. good reaction. And he kept saying the whole trip, I can't believe you guys are 30. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fun anyway. times. Anyway. anyway, good times. Anyway, sorry. Next question is from Liam G. Michael, what's the worriest, what's the worriest feeling you've had after a night out when you've woken up and you have no memory of the past 12 or 24 hours? Oh, man. I don't know. Sometimes it's just like you got to deal with the issues first at hand that you've got. So you, you've got to fucking sometimes find new clothes or you got to deal with explaining why you've pissed up couch or a, a girl's bed or a friend's bed. And they're, they're, they're hard, like especially when the person doesn't. Say if it's like Marty or Henry who it's happened to you countless times. It's like, all right, dude, it happened again. They get it. It's not as scary. But when it's a stranger or when it's a, oh my God. A dude. relative. That is. The one, of the, one of the weirdest times was when I woke up to all of these girls laughing. And all, it was all, because <laughs> it was a big hotel room that had all their beds in the hotel room. So <laughs> I woke up to them all giggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude basically and they it was they it was swedish so i couldn't understand what they were talking about but i could tell they were like pissing themselves at the fact that i pissed their bed really angry and in their face dude. About it. <laughs> I, I, I sort of pretended to be asleep for so long i, I gotta fucking get up and get out of here now and you so should have started pissing again while you were pretending to be asleep <laughs> dude so i got up and i just sort of like it was like oh yeah i pissed the bed and then like went and pissed again in their like little bathroom came out was like sorry about that <laughs> see ya oh my oh, god dude <laughs> then i saw like three days later they like waved at me on a tuk tuk that they went past i was like oh my god that was them so awkward <laughs> so there's some You're issues the piss boy that was You're the aussie piss <clears throat> boy come too there's one instance yeah. or one example i can tell you next question if the okay. government wanted to show the best video from your guys website or from social media which one would you want them to show if it had to be on tv <laughs> fuck there are so many amazing videos that we've done <laughs> like the tim and calvin saga on the website's pretty good the look on to, to show on tv we'd really want to showcase off our skills and our commitment to creating content so maybe the afl grand final one or the coin car it's pretty cool two things that are like that people won't people won't sue us for <laughs> oh, yeah it's not too disgusting it's not too fingered <laughs> but you know that there are some incredible discoveries we've made like the fucking the corn curing world hunger the cum video it's all very groundbreaking science that we've done so you know it's hard to choose 
it's hard to choose who would have thought that tattooed shoes are the same as normal shoes that video is a great video yeah and exactly we don't literally don't need to wear shoes anymore because we have them tattooed on our fucking feet now like how does that work Seems oh so people keep money. saying oh it's placebo effect oh look how cut up your feet are and how badly wounded you are you should go to hospital it's like shut up <laughs> idiots shit oh for fuck's sake hey question get out get out of the room this doesn't concern you <laughs> oh, oh I'm really close out <laughs> this doesn't concern me. <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you said the question. Um, that yeah. doesn't concern question, apparently. Uh, please, please be sure to blur that, um, Connor. Um, I, I cannot have any of that out there in the world. It's too much. Look what it's done to Michael. He looks directly into my core every week and look at him. I can't even fucking talk anymore. It's a blubbering. It doesn't concern question. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't about him. <laughs> that is so good, dude. <laughs> That's not about question. That's about you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. next question. Here we go. Fucking hell. What were we talking about? <laughs> what were we talking about? Shut up. What did I we found say? Brown. What did I say? Get out! Oh. The ending. The ending was so disgusting, dude. I went shy. <laughs> <laughs> I went a bit shy. <laughs> that was fucked. Final question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck. Marty and Michael, have you ever had any embarrassing experiences when hanging out with Julian and Matt? Um, none that we haven't caused. Oh, Julian sometimes um, is embarrassing because he has lived such a fucking disgusting life. Is the things he's done and the people he's hung around with just makes me fucking sick. And, and that's that's the truth. He's turning into a fine young man though, I must say. But his past is not right. Me and your mum love you. <laughs> and that's question time. And that's question slime. I saw some really good questions uh, in there, by the way, guys. Sorry we can't fucking read them all. Maybe we should go through on the Marty and Michael account and also just answer some in text. Oh, yeah, because if we fuck their food in. We can go through after and then just answer them in text. Yeah. Because I feel bad because there's some fucking good shit here, eh? It looks like Matt saves them all as well. I doubt that. A question. I, I fucking doubt that. God. And if the question's Something been asked hurt. before, I think he answers them. What? Man, you reprogrammed me then. Anyway, move, moving on. If, if, is that all right? Question? Uh, so we're going to do the German segment. Just a quick one. You remember, it's a new one now. I read the German word. And Michael has to uh, guess what the word means. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> all right. Uh, so I'm going to read a very common German word, a word that's used by everyone. And Michael has to guess what it means. I'll give him three options after I've read the word. Okay. Zungenbrecher. <laughs> Um, do you want it again? I think I can do it. I just did it. I have made myself cry. Is there a tear? You can speak in a... I can't hear what Sorry. you're saying, man. I made myself cry. Thank you, man. Seriously. It's about time we uh, softened a little on this podcast and 
showing that kind of emotion is takes balls, man. To be honest, so thank you for that. <gasps> is there a tear? Yeah, there's a, like a full tear coming down your face, man. And you see that question? That's for you. Just crying for you, man. For what happened to you? It's not right. <laughs> And like that's why you. Michael is crying like that because what happened to you should not have happened to the scummiest cunts on earth. I don't know why Michael Lee laughs at me. <laughs> it's just because he's been staring at my asshole for a fucking 30 years. It's broken his mind. He's not sane anymore. My core has disrupted his brainwaves. Anyway, I'll say this German word again. Zungenbrecher! <laughs> Zungenbrecher! Oh, the B rattle was sick. Zungenbrecher! I reckon it means. Which it could mean one of these three okay. things break, tongue twister, or flip flops. Choose. Zungenbrecher, it's tongue twister. 110%. Fuck. And that is the German segment this week. Do you guys still like it? Like, do you guys still think it's like funny? Are we doing a good job? Let us know in the comments if you don't think that we're doing a good job because I won't do that segment anymore if you guys don't think that that's funny. Like, I've got no problem with that. Oh, okay. I just want to make you guys happy, okay? Oh, oh, your name's Klaus with that do weird... you dare speak that name? <laughs> that name shall never be spoken on this podcast ever again. Do you understand me? It's so bad for the environment. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, moving right along to our fucking final segment this week because we've already done the prank call. Oh, we are going to do the fucking PO on Boxing Cunt. And you, I read the comments, people saying they want the PO box to be longer. If you disagree with this, let us know in the comments, seriously. Because as far as we know, the episode should just be us opening <laughs> shit. <laughs> So, fuck it, man. You wanted it. Here it comes. Get ready for 50 minutes of fucking PO unboxing, cunt. <laughs> Boo! I'm going to open this. It says Marty and Michael. It's a letter and it's got a... Oh, dude. It's the code guy. Oh, fuck. Not the code guy. It's Michael's arch nemesis. <laughs> Anyway, I'm done with that letter now. <laughs> <What's the next? laughs> oh, the code guys was starting to read half of his letter and then put it away. Another okay, code guy. This is uh, a letter for Julian. It even says <laughs> just Julian. It's from the code guy though. Same handwriting. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right. So this is what he said. This is a letter to Julian that I have opened. For, for us to read now. Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> Dear Julian, one day we will fuck. I just don't care. We fuck. We give each other blowjobs. I will lick around your cock and you will <sighs> eat my dick cheese and drink my piss. After, I'm going to lick your bum and eat the hair there and lick our own toes. Last thing, me, you, Marty and Michael can have a foursome, not a threesome, a foursome. So we all four have sex. That's a pretty good letter. Thank you. I'll send on your wishes to Julian. <laughs> cut on the back. We've got some yeah, itchy we've, powder. We've, thank you for sending this, but we've we've used this before. I've tried poured it all over him while he was driving, and nothing, <clears throat> nothing happened. Nothing. He snorted it. Yeah. Like it was nothing. So um, we'll try it again, but I don't think these work. So you're better off sending us some bullets. Yeah, that's from... Oh, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Fuck, I don't know who this is from, but I'll fucking open it right now. It feels like one of the beakers that people have been sending oh, skin and... fuck. Skin and shit in. I just want some nice presents for a while. No, come on. People don't want to see that. People want to see fuck shit. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not good. Let's okay, just, so let's in this, save that one for a bit. Let's get something nice. In this, in, there might be something nice in here. We've just been sent a cylinder package. It's taped shut at the top. It's tube shaped. Oh, we got more itching powder. <laughs> Fuck, man. We're going to have itching powder. Bloody stop bloody Africa from going under, cunt. <laughs> 
question is grimacing. His instincts are telling him that there's something disgusting in here. Mm. I'm scared to open it, eh? Mm. Oh, no. Oh, man. I'm mm. literally fucked. No, oh. not near me, uh. dickhead. You go in the middle. Uh. Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh my God, someone sent us a glitter bomb. That was anthrax, dude. That was a glitter bomb, baby. Holy shit, baby. Oh. Well, joke's on you, because we don't care about mess. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's you how fucking that is now. pranked us, man. Holy shit. There's glitter all over everything. All over the table, all over Michael's hand and yeah, yeah, jump up. It is annoying to have. <laughs> he said it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Glitter bomb, thank you, seriously. Thank you. I love this shit. Send us shit like this. It's funny, it's exciting. I'm so hard right now. <laughs> yeah, same. Oh dude, we've got that place you're from. What? Look. Germany. Germany. Oh, a German flag. Danke schön. Danke schön, meine Deutsche. Oh. Mm. <laughs> ich kann nicht warten, die deutsche Flagge rumzutragen. Mm, die Deutsche. Thank you, Richie. Deutschland! Oh, there's lots of them. We can all have Oh, one. wow. We can all have a German flag. What? It's like Stephen Hawking's cufflinks. Is that right? That's so beautiful. Dude, when I get married, I'm going to wear them. Don't throw <laughs> them away. That would be my cufflinks when I get married. Well, so, yeah, no, we keep them. So, like, imagine that. You've just sent us a, something in the PR box, a little joke, and now it's going on my wedding suit. Do you see what I mean? Anything can happen here. <laughs> like, send us something. Who knows? Uh, Michael might have sex with it or something. He's, don't know. And now I've got a German flag, man. We, it looks like we all do. we got many. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber Deutsch. Deutsch, Deutsch! <laughs> we'll put oh, one up. Oh, mine's we'll a kleiner German, huh? All right, I'll poke one through here, eh? And sort of see it a little bit, but it's not like in your face. Because that's sort of what my German heritage is. It's a little bit, but it's not too... Yeah. That's not fuck nine! Yeah, it's, it's subtle-ish. There you go. I think I've got it. Incredibly disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? I just put it on. I didn't know which way it went up. You, you, you have an example to look at, my friend. Yeah, but that's face down. I, that's exactly why I got it the wrong way around. Pig. Australian. Well, this is, this who sent, this is a letter from who sent it from us, for us. I've sent you some German flags. I'm sure you'll be able to find a use for them. Maybe you could flick them around during future German segments. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like it, huh? I also sent you each a Stephen Hawking's badge. Maybe, oh, it's a badge. Not a oh, shit. Well, someone sent me cufflinks to wear my You can still wedding. have the badge. You can wear the badge at the wedding. Yeah, I don't know. Because cufflinks, like, it's not in your face. I'm all about not being in your face. <laughs> Maybe you could pin them to your white lab coats for future. That's a good idea. You're going to say wife. No, to our lab coats for the experiments. Um, thank you for ending our weeks right with a website vid and starting our weeks right with the podcast. You're welcome. Tis a good time to be a ringworm. Fucking Your loyal these. ringworm for life, Richie. Fucking love it. I don't know if you want us to say your last name. So thank you, Richie. That's fucking, fucking awesome. Another fucking legend ringworm fam. The fucking ringworms fucking like love family. that community. Yeah. Dude. Just fucking look at this shit. This fucking just legendary fucking fucking legends. Right? Very good. Give yourselves a sit at home. You see a little cat on the back. Because you come strong, man. You come strong and you come prepared, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, one more letter. How's about <laughs> a cat on the bag? Oh, wait, we got someone here too. Oh, all right, let's see how long they are, eh? All right, oh, another letter. So hopefully there's nothing bad in here. Oh! oh, it's another fucking code, dude. I know, from the letter, I can tell. Man, that code guy really loves... Dear Marty and Michael, I just don't give a shit no more, so I will say it now. I want a threesome. In bed, suck each other's dicks, lick each other's asshole, stick your fingers in each other's asshole, and put it in each other's mouths. I want Michael's hair to twist around my cock until I come out of Marty's face. I did not add Julian to the drawing, because when I gave him a blowjob once, I test positive and had for nine weeks. Still love him though. Okay, bye now. Love from your hot, sexy stripper. Shami or Shami Uncut. Well, at least we didn't get a code. And it's a picture of us sort of having a bit of a threesome. So thank you very much for that. 
appreciate that. You put a lot of time and effort into that. And man, I get it. That was good shit. So thank you. Michael? We have been invited to a wedding. To a wedding. Oh, shit, baby. God damn, shit, man, baby. It is Charlotte and Dakota's wedding. What's the date? That's um, too good. Cool. Friday the 8th of, of the 4th. So next year. January, February, March, April. Next year. Wow, that's cool. All right, we'll fucking see if we can come. I'm pretty sure I'm not busy that day. Two girls. <clears throat> Where is it? Yeah, two girls. Um, WA. Fuck. That's so far. Maybe we'll incorporate some sort of road trip in it. We'll Depends do it. what we're doing that time of year next year. But fuck, thank you for the invite. And if we can, we will go. And that oh. goes for all of you cunts. <clears throat> Podcast tour. Podcast tour. We go on the road. Oh, Question man. drives. Matt's the cook. So many we, weddings. It's exciting. So we're MCs at a wedding. Yeah, we'll get to be MCs for one of our fucking mates from bloody high school soon. Marty's got a woman coming up. A woman coming up. Mono got a woman coming up. <laughs> fucking. Women coming out all over the place. Coming out of the car. Coming out of the bushes. <laughs> coming, coming down out of the sky man all right that was very good it was a very good day everyone really everyone it. you saw it we're the best <laughs> we just did it we gave you an example of best behavior like the video comment something and don't forget to show everyone because that's how we grow baby <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming on questions you've done fucking mm. hell of a job with mm. that body mate we're the best we're, we're the, the best. best we're, we're the, the best, best. we're the best 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 we're <laughs>